Hi, uh, welcome to an unboxing, and today we've got Battle Hymn Volume 1, uh, Gettysburg and P. Ridge from Compass Games. This is the first uh, game I have from Compass. Uh, it's a small box, it's not that big, um, but it's pretty heavy. It's designed by Eric Lee Smith, and that's the front, and if we flip it over here, take a look at the back of the box. Maybe zoom in a little bit. You can see the map here for Pea Ridge, uh, which was uh, fought along the Mississippi. And up here, we have the map for Gettysburg. And um, it talks about a little bit about the combat system. And it's a chit pull. So let's get right into the box and open this up. All right, so, and with this one thing that uh, surprised me on the back here is that it says that it's uh, got quite a lot of components, like 528 pieces to it. So, let's see what's involved in here. It's actually a little bit hard to get it open. There we go. All right, we have dice, D10s, pretty standard D10s. We have, actually it comes with an errata. That is pretty cool. It's also printed on pretty good cardstock. Double-sided errata, fairly glossy. The rule book. It is a bit cardboardy. You can see the table of contents here. Uh, Close-ups here of the playing pieces, the breakdown. It is at 17 pages. 18, 19 page, 20 page rule book, which is not that much when you compare it to a lot of war games, um, especially like For the People or U.S. Civil War from GMT, which have like, especially U.S. Civil War, which has like over 40 page rule book. And we have like standard Zox, combat resolution, retreating. line of sight, regular things. And here we have, okay, second one is special rules. So kind of like a scenario book uh, with set up some optional rules, how to retreat. And then we get into what look like player aid cards, uh, terrain effects, combat situations chart. So standard uh, things in a war game, another terrain effects, player aid. Uh, then we get a sequence of play. Also another terrain effects chart. All right, yeah, two for Gettysburg and two for P Ridge. It looks like um, sequence of play and unit types. A uh, fairly simple sequence of play. Actually, only five stages, it looks like. Uh, initiative, the cup, pull from the cup, repeat, time passage. Quite neat. And a combat summary and combat resolution chart. And more of the player aids, one for P Ridge, and then another one of the sequence of play. And then we get into chits. Oh, so many chits. There are three counters, or three trays, not trays, sorry. Three sheets of chits. Let's get a look at some of them right here. We have the Iron Brigade right up here at the top. And eh, lots of units. They look to be pretty 
decent card stock. I don't think it's on par with like what GMT does, but they don't look to be terrible quality. Uh, and then we get what look like the Confederate forces. As well, and strength points, firing lines, damage tokens. They are double sided. All of them are double sided. Take a look at the Confederate backside, has a lot of uh, just flags actually. And the uh, Union as well. The back is mostly just the flags. And then we get into the maps. These are card or just paper maps, which I don't like. Uh, there's no need to do those anymore, but they do look very large. The map for P Ridge is quite large, actually. And we have the turn markers running across the bottom. It's a very large map. Actually, it's really big. Let me fold this one up and pull it out of the way. Gettysburg should also have a really large map. as well. It looks quite nice. Uh, just a moment. So let me just uh, pull the dolly out and get a better look at the map here. It is a fairly large map. And I'll uh, try to get a better view of this. So if we go across, oops. So if we kind of use the dolly and come across here on the map, you can see over here we've got our terrain key again on the map. Uh, part four up at the top. Shattered Union units on the other side. Shattered Confederate units, eliminated Confederate units. An artillery chart, a morale chart, the turns, um, since it is a three day battle. Each uh, day is like one part of the scenario, and the first day you have 11 turns, two at night, then we go up to turn 22 on the second day, two at night, and then July the 3rd there are fewer turns, and the game designer uh, put in a great explanation why you have fewer turns going on, and that's the troops are getting tired, and if we... Uh take a look here we've got the town of Gettysburg itself we've got the uh, seminary ridge little round top is over in the corner here a bit hard to pick it up round top little round top it's a very nice map I just don't like that it's not mounted it looks great though, it looks very nice. It's good quality for a paper map. Uh, so yeah, that is Battle Hymn Volume 1 uh, from Compass Games. So, thank you.